everyone. So today I'm going to be doing the new plus size tag. And I did the old plus size tag, but I wasn't really that much of a fan of it, to be honest. It's still up on my channel if you want to go see that. The first question is, what do you consider yourself? I'm looking at my tablet for the questions. So this question was on the last one. What do you consider yourself? Plus size, fat, curvy? I would consider myself fat. I don't, I use the word fat because I, I reclaim the word and like, I feel like that word has been used so much to like try to insult me and I want to um reclaim that word and I feel like it's important to make that word have no power like if people use it more the more you use it in like a either in like a neutral term just a descriptor then I feel like it takes the power away from the word and the word won't be harmful anymore someday hopefully where do you get style inspiration from is the second question I get a lot of style inspiration from like plus size fashion YouTubers. I also follow a lot of like bloggers on Instagram. I look, I don't watch, I don't read a lot of plus size blogs for some reason, but I follow a lot of plus size bloggers on like Instagram. I do though get style inspiration from like, I get a little bit of style inspiration from like all the, from like a lot of people that I follow on Instagram, just even regular people. Like I get a lot of style inspiration from just like everywhere, like a bunch of places, but mostly from social media. And number three, what is your favorite feature about yourself? Um, my favorite feature about myself is probably my hair. I like my hair a lot. My hair and my smile. I used to hate my smile. Like, I used to never smile. And, like, I used to really hate my smile. And now I smile a lot in photos and I really like my smile. Um, number four, do you think retailers should drop the plus? Um, no. I don't think... I don't think the the plus size section is the problem or there being plus size existing plus size and straight size I don't think that those two being separated is the problem I think that the problem is that the plus size clothing it is getting better but it still needs work and we still don't have a lot of the options that straight size people do like I know in the mall that I go to there's only two plus size stores in the whole mall and like no there's one plus size store that's just plus size and then there's like two stores that sell plus size but the sections are small actually you know what section is big though um I'm getting off on a little tangent here but Rue 21 plus like their section is big like half the store is Rue 21 plus at my mall which is awesome like they have a straight size section plus size section and a men's section and like they each are all the same size which i think is really awesome but charlotte Rue's plus size section is literally this small like no but i don't think that the plus the word plus size is wrong or there's anything wrong with like the label plus size and also i feel like a lot of people want i feel like mostly people want to drop the plus just because they don't want to be associated with fatness or fat people is what I think personally is that they feel like it's negative because they're associated with not being thin or being fat if that makes sense so I feel like that's the reason why they want to drop the plus but I don't know I could be wrong but there's a lot of different reasons why they say they want to drop the plus but I don't think that they should I don't think that plus size is the problem like um number five do you think there's anything wrong with the word fat um i don't i use the word fat as a neutral descriptor but i do know that there is a negative connotation with the word fat i personally have unbagged that a long time ago and like it's not easy like i said it's not easy i still sometimes people will say the word fat and like all for a second i'll get this thing in my head where i'm like oh my god but then like I try to unlearn that as much as I possibly can because like I said, I feel like the word fat can be hurtful if it's used in a negative way, but for me, I use it as a neutral descriptor and I feel like that's, it's important. So yes and no. Number six, what's your favorite plus size stores slash brands? I'm reading this on my laptop, like I said, if I keep looking down. A couple of my favorite plus size stores for right now, I've been really loving Charlotte Russe Plus for some reason. Like, I've been really... I don't buy jeans there because I haven't actually tried the jeans, but I'm afraid to try them because it's Junior Plus. But Charlotte Russe Plus actually doesn't fit like Junior Plus. It's like regular plus size. Like, it doesn't have 
They're, I don't feel like they're made small or anything. Like, I bought a romper from there. I'm about a, I'm a size like 26 slash 28 sometimes. And I bought a romper from there that was a 4X and it was kind of big. So, And I've bought other things that have like been kind of big when I bought them in that size. And like, the 3X tends to fit most of the time for me. So, I feel like they are pretty good in the normal plus size range. Except what is normal plus size because honestly everything is like different but um charlotte russe plus rule 21 plus for like tops and dresses and stuff i've been really liking them as well because like their their clothes just like charlotte russe like fit like regular plus size like they're not they actually run a little bit big to me because i bought a shirt from there that was a 3x and normally in like shirts that are chiffon type material not chiffon but like woven type materials I have to size up. I bought this in a 3X and I've sized up before in like materials that aren't stretchy and they would still not fit. But then this is a 3X and it fits like good and it fits like it should, like flowy and cute, like how I wanted it to fit. So I feel like Rue 21 Plus, Charlotte Russe Plus, Torrid, even though I've been having some issues with Torrid recently, but that was resolved. I ended up like getting my money back and everything. So that was good, but. Like I said, Torrid, Charlotte Russe Plus, Rue 21 Plus. I used to shop at Forever 21 all the time, but I just am not that much of a fan anymore. They run pretty small, and they the quality is just not there like it should be. Even though it is kind of cheap, so but still. Number seven, what does body positivity what does body positivity mean to you? To me, body positivity means um rejecting the standards that have been put on us and loving what you look like and I feel like body positivity also is loving who you are like as a person I feel like body positivity is like holistic self-love I feel like and it also I feel like it is I feel like body positivity is a rejection of our standards as they are and to me body positivity is a form of activism is a form of is a form of rejection of those standards and is a form of, I'm trying to think of what that word is. Body positivity, like some people don't think the body positivity, say you're body positive or you claim to be body positive, like that you um, should be trying to fight against those things, but I believe the body positivity sh that you should be fighting against those things. And if you're body positive and you're only for like a certain size or if you're body positive and you say well I'm not fighting for those that size because they're unhealthy or whatever I like body positivity basically no one to be made to feel like crap about their size or made to and for no one like being oppressed because of their size and things like that so I feel like a lot of people are in the watered down body positivity and body positive I mean like the roots of body positivity, I mean like when people are actually like fighting for all sizes to be included and for all sizes to be not ridiculed for your size and not to be um, held back from things because of your size, like for not the world to hold you back because of your size. So basically that. And, um, number eight, what is your message to other plus size people? My message to other plus size people is live your life and don't worry about what other people are thinking of you. Like, if you want to wear something, wear it. If you want to do something, you can do it. Like, I feel like still a lot of plus size people are very insecure. I feel like it's still, like, it's still at a point, it's getting better, but I feel like a lot of fat people or plus size people are still, like, insecure and still hold themselves back from a lot of things because of their size. And your size does not hold you back. You hold you back. And you can work on that and you can do it. You can do whatever you want. You can be whatever you want. That is what I want them to know. So basically that, to all plus size people, live your life. Do what you want to do. Be happy. That's basically what I want to say. And it's not easy, so I don't want anyone to think I'm just saying, oh, it's simple, just flip a switch and you're happy and you're doing what you want to do. It's very hard. It's a very long journey and 
I'm, I'm three, I'm like, I've been on the uh, self-love journey for years, for like three or four years now, and I still struggle sometimes. I'm still pushing myself to do things. I'm still pushing myself to wear what I want. Sometimes I'm still pushing myself to like live my life to the fullest. So yeah. Number nine, what do you wish thinner people knew about plus size people? I wish thinner people would stop assuming that all fat people aren't healthy to sound kind of mean or like shitty but I wish thin people knew that their opinion doesn't matter on plus size people is basically what I wish I wish thinner people knew that their opinion on our size doesn't matter and they should honestly just stop essentially <laughs> stop telling people what they have to look like stop telling people that they have to be that they have to look like you to be worth something like stop that's basically what i want to say but yeah and i'm not saying all thin people are like that but too many are to be honest number 10 what is your message of the plus size fashion industry um my message of the plus size fa fashion industry is listen just listen and that's basically it like listen to the plus size customers listen to the plus size people, the plus size bloggers, listen to people who are telling you to do better, basically. And also, make more sizes. Like, honestly, there's not that many stores that go up past a 24, and there's there needs to be. There needs to be more. There really does. Like, do better, basically. That's what I want to say. But also, I do recognize that things have gotten a little bit better, but also still do better the um the new plus size tag i hope my answers made sense so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me and i'll see you guys later bye